think that I think environment scout, I'll do that. I agree with you. But I also think there's more reasons than just that. I think the I think single parent a major issue. I think the uh, the uh, the history of white brutality at some cases, which has been awful, with police departments has something to do with it. But there's still no excuse. None. Zero. As far as the nutcases who shot 20 little 26 people, or it was 28 in Newtown, or the jerk, the, the, the nutcase in Tucson, uh, or uh, James Holmes, whose trial's going on right now in, in Aurora, uh, uh, in Colorado, all white mass murderers. I have no, I, I, I can't explain that. I don't have the answer for you on that. Uh, screws loose. I don't know. You know, you'd have to ask a clinical psychiatrist why. I, I don't know. I don't have any answer for you on that. There's a, th that's a different kind of disconnect. This is, this is different. This is just thugs being thugs. There's no reason. And you can talk about being suppressed, suppressed, but he's a 15-year-old kid. 15-year-old kid is that suppressed at 15 years of age. Here's Jeff in Minneapolis here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Jeff, good afternoon. How are you today? Thanks for taking my call, Doc. See, I just want to point out the irony. You had indicated earlier you were both Democrats. Today, Obama was, went out of his way to really characterize it. Kind of like what that last caller just did. Basically, how uh, it was everybody's problem, uh, none of the individuals involved. And, and don't take my word for it. Listen to the uh, his, uh, press clicking today. And I think as long as we have leadership to create an environment that really embraces that kind of behavior, basically gives it carte blanche, you're going to see this kind of behavior from young people. We have leadership that really makes the message. You're not accountable. Other people are accountable. Yeah, I, I did not. Obama, uh, this would have been a perfect day for Obama to come out and say this is absolutely disgraceful. This is a disgrace. White, black, it makes no difference. The people who did this, I don't want to hear about suppression. I don't want to hear about burning down senior citizens' homes. That's the way you're going to strike back because you feel suppressed. And if Obama tried to make it seem like that they had a ready-made excuse, he's out of line. No, I didn't hear it. Read it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to pay attention to it too much. It's too depressing. But if that was Obama's message today, it's a wrong message to send. I completely agree. Yeah, I just wanted to say that in the end, that's been a consistent message, Doc, that basically other people are accountable for, yeah, we know there's a problem with income disparity, et cetera, et cetera. But the solution isn't this. And I was really disappointed in Obama's reaction today. Basically, the reaction was somehow the police, you know, this is their issue, and on top of it, it's the rest of our issue. And I was really disappointed. I just saw a politician asking about the again. So I appreciate you having this conversation, Don. It really makes, you know, our world of sports uh, and I, I, have the balance. I, I, I also would like to see what the proportion amount of young uh, blacks growing up without a father. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see what that, well, it's not like to see what that number is, because there's too many cases where that poor female in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in an urban home has to do everything. Work, take care of four kids, five kids, six kids, and she has no help whatsoever. And there's no, and there's no male supervision around her. That, uh, now, I, I don't know the percentages of it, um, but it, 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 I, I bet you it's high. And it's higher than it is in the, in the white community. I can guarantee you that. Not in front of the hour. Here I'm Andrew Gumnation.